Somebody in the comments wanted to learn how to do some sort of Eastern wrestling, Russian style wrestling. So we have a basic breakdown from front headlock, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to lock up the Yoko Senkaku, which is triangle from the side. So whoever it was, I'm not gonna find the comment and copy and paste it, because I'd have to find it, but uh, you know who you are, you have to. So I'm gonna have Antonio here down on a single leg with his head on the inside position. So from here, when you find like the guy's here, he's biting on the leg, what I'm gonna do, number one, is I'm gonna start stuffing his head in the center and I'm gonna make a chest wrap with my right hand. So watch how my right hand wraps around the belly. From this position, my left knee blocks his post arm. Remember that when I go to turn him towards my left, he's easily gonna be able to post this right onto the side and he can block that, that, that angle there. So you always wanna make sure that you're placing your knee on the outside of his arm and as I start to break him down, notice that his hip passes his knee line. As soon as the hip passes the knee line, you can always open up your left knee, feed him into the crevice, and now we have a world that opens up to us from Kimura's back steps or what we're gonna go over today, the Yoko Senkaku. So let's take a look at that again. Now, interestingly enough, I didn't know this was Eastern wrestling. We always drilled it with John and it was just a, a thing that we did. But one of my former students, uh, shout out to Coco, he, uh, he brought this up. He's like, man, it's a really Eastern, Euro or Eastern European style. So notice the guys here, he's looking to cut this leg up, probably switch to a double, pop his head out, and collect my hips, right? So the first thing we know we have to do to, to hedge against that is to pressure that head. Get his head going well down, and then you're gonna cover your left hand wedge with your midsection. From here, my left knee takes the angle, I'm gonna break him down. What I always stress, and this, uh, I think a lot of my students struggle with this, is you have to get your hips, his hips rather, past his knee before you open your leg. See how his hip starts to pass his knee? He's vulnerable here. Then I open my knee, I pull him into the crevice. So let's go back one last time. I have Antonio down on the single leg, I stuff his head, it's a square. Bit. I get his head there stuffed, I cover his head, I remove my left hand wedge and I use my lower portion of my body to cover his head. Now when he goes to posture up and drive through me, it's, it's hard, harder to do. Post on the mat, get his hips going over his knee, that's the demarcation line. I'll open my left leg, pull him into the crevice. Now from here, we enter Yoko Senkaku. First thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I lock up a Kimura grip initially. Now how do I do that? If he has a bite on me here, I'm gonna hook my forearm like a heel hook around his elbow. So I'm gonna hook, I'm gonna pull open, and I'm gonna feed my hand through this gap. That's what I want, but I need some sort of space. If his elbow is cut down in this angle, I'll never be able to get my hand inside. So I get my hand in, I flare the elbow, I make straight fingers and I wedge my hand through. From this position, it's really, really easy. He's thinking you're gonna Kimura him, which is 90% of the time what you're gonna do. But notice there's space, if you notice, between his elbow and his hip. I'm gonna occupy that space on my right leg. I'm gonna curl it up and watch it. Yep, keep your hands locked. I'm gonna slide my right foot to his armpit. From here now, I fall to my side. I take a snapshot of this posi position. Watch how I extend my left leg. His little upper back hits the mat. I collect his elbow. I put the hollow of my knee behind his tricep and we lock up the triangle from the side with the Yoko Senkaku. By back healing, I get the strangle or I can lock up the Kimura on the primary arm, get a Kimura here and tons of other locks. But we'll focus on those two for now. Where I lock up the Yoko Senkaku or the Kimura from there. Let's look at it again. You're struggling because the guy has a head inside single position and you're, you're having a, a little bit of a hard time understanding where the wedges are. Wedges start with my left hand. The wedge goes from left hand to my hips being over his head. All right, so this is a trade-off. Left hand, hips, break him down. He's unathletic. From here, we flare the elbow. We wedge the hand through and we lock up the traditional Kimura. From here, I step my foot under his armpit and he's done, you're, you're ready there. All you have to do now is fall to your side, extend your left leg, and from here, I'm gonna make a simple adjustment where I collect his far tricep with my right hand. You can go forehead to the mat and do the whole setup there. So you know what I'm talking about. If you study John's stuff, you can go forehead down and do the whole bit. What works best for me is I like to flare my hand, collect the tricep, extend, and then from here, I can easily lock up the Yoko Senkaku from here and get the strangle or Kimura's wrist locks, et cetera, from that position. Let's analyze it one last time. So, Antonio's in on a head inside single. First thing we do is he stuff the head and we get a good chest wrap. We cover his head with our midsection. We block his elbow with our left knee, get his hips going past his knee line. We widen our legs, flare the elbow, lock up the Kimura. If he's smart, he'll keep his hands connected. If he's not, you'll simply just break the grip and take the Kimura. So in the case that he keeps his arms locked, 
we create enough extension to sneak our heel through. Once we do that, we're able to fall to our side, extend our leg, trap the tricep, lock up the yoko senkaku or the triangle from the side. By back heeling, I usually can get a tight strangle. Or from here, we lock up the kimura on the primary arm that's trapped. And we're in a good position to get the win. Make sure you guys, <laughs> make sure you guys cop the merch on Steven, stevenwilliamsofficial.com. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so and leave a comment and like it. It generally helps the algorithm and it helps the channel uh, out quite a bit. Uh, anything you want to plug in even helped me out a lot, man. Plug no, something. I'm just so happy I can. <laughs> Check out some creative You're trying to, you're trying to for me. <laughs> it's a huge honor for me. I have to superimpose uh, Bernard for Faria's face on you. For me, <laughs> Professor Stephen Williams, huge honor for me. Huge honor for me. Thank, thank you so much, man, and thank you guys for the continued support. Yeah. 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 Those are yeah. disturbingly yeah. small. That's, you know what? I saw those last week. Oh, I, I see those. I, I they saw never, those tiny slippers last week. I was wondering. Your dip is hilarious. It's alright. I mean, I feel like this. I feel like the slipper is about the size of my hand. Yeah, it's gotta be a kid. Yo, he's still with the slippers though. <laughs> Jeff, those are yours. He walked outside.